for what we say. Amen. Amen. And uh, Amen. she said, she was saying, if, I, if you do this, then you need to uh, shut up. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told yeah. Her, I to look at first lady, I said, will you see me do this? <laughs> Uh, y'all take y'all seats this morning. I'm glad everybody's doing good. Everybody looking good, doing good. I like the color orange, amen. Uh, I tried to blend my orange in. I didn't have nothing that really looked good orangey. So I just got a tie to kind of, you know, support the women when they do stuff, amen. I, I, I thank God for the leadership of the women here, amen. Man, we got to step up. God, man. We wore all kind of colors. Black, green, blue. <laughs> have no meaning for it, Amen. Amen. I thank God for uh, 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 our choir. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for the choir. Amen. Amen. Listen, I want y'all to give me a song that I can sing all week long. Uh, I want something that's ringing in my ear when I'm at work. And the boss come and make me mad. When the boss makes me mad, I want to hear something. That I heard on Sunday that'll make me get back in line. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what type of songs I want to hear. Amen. Yeah, yeah. And so I thank God for our choir. Amen. Because I don't think they realize what singing really does. Amen. amen. If you get good singing, amen, it should last you for at least a couple of days. Amen. Yeah, yeah, amen. 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 I don't know what it is, but I was driving riding home and uh uh I'm a big fan, I'm a big music fan. Y'all hold on for a second, I'm preaching just a minute. And I was riding home and uh, I heard this song uh, playing called Distant Lover. And I know secular music is something that's worldly and all that. And uh, I heard the word Distant Lover. And I've been singing it. Distant Lover. Yeah, yeah. And I was thinking, it says, you should think about me. Say a prayer for me. I was singing those lyrics and God was like, yeah, because we got so much so decent going on between me and you. Right. You need to bring it in a little bit because oh, it's distant. I mean, yeah. how many people have love for God, but it's... It's a distant. Yeah. Yeah. It's the love, but that's yeah. good. Yeah. And I couldn't even enjoy the music really like I wanted to because yeah. God is still yeah. speaking yeah. to me about I stuff that is, that's, yeah. that's heavenly I'm and not earthly. You. Amen. Yeah. So I don't care what you do. See God in everything you do. In everything. Amen. Amen. I have a word. Let's go to the book of uh, Matthew today. Amen. I thank God for my musicians this morning. Amen. Y'all go ahead and uh, set the tone as well. Thank God for um, everybody, uh, Minister uh, Brittany this morning. Amen. Amen. Getting up and putting everybody in good, good spirits. Amen. Amen. I thank God for you. Now, first, I thank God for my wife. Amen. Amen. Eight years today. Woo! Woo! Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. 1996. Wow. Jesus. I said I do. Wow. And I, I haven't regretted it. Amen. So I, I might have fumbled a little bit, but I was right back. And we, right. we are we are 28 years later. Amen. Yeah. And we're still going strong. I love her as much as I did the day I said I do. Amen. Amen. So Amen. Sweet. So thank God for her. Praise the Lord. Oh, okay. Amen. 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I thought 28 years did something there. I guess, I guess I said 50 and it been different. Amen. <laughs> Go ahead, turn your Bibles to Matthew. Uh, I heard some stuff today that uh, enough to get me uh, aroused to speak the word of God. Amen. Thank y'all for ushering the word of God in. Amen. Amen. It's important. Amen. So uh, we're going to go to Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. Uh, simply want to talk to you this morning. Um, um, um. Have you ever been nervous about something but you don't know why? Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Shake that off this morning. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. I want you to hear what God said to his disciples. And we're just going to read from 24 to uh, 
Yeah, then said Jesus. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, mm -hmm. If any man will come after me, mm -hmm. let him deny himself mm -hmm. and take up his cross and follow me. Mm -hmm. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, mm -hmm. and whosoever will lose his life for in, for my sake shall find it. Can you say amen? Amen. We want to talk from the subject of God. Follow me. Amen. Look at somebody say, Follow me. Follow me. Let's pray, God. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your spirit. Father, we pray, Lord God, that your word will, will saturate this place, God. Father, we pray that your word, Lord God, would not return to you, Lord. That somebody will take up their cross and follow you today. In Jesus' name, in Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. I think sometimes we take for granted of the words that are being talked over the pulpit. I think we take for granted the time that God has uh, allowed us to gather and to come together and to hear the word. Yeah. Sometimes we come out of just routine and it's not That's something right. that we're really not getting when we leave out the door. Yeah. And so one of the great things that God spoke to me over this last few weeks is that my people need to learn how to follow me. Yeah. And so I looked up the word follow because... Uh, it, it can mean a lot of different things. You know, when somebody is talking, they can, you know, just, you know, I'm trying to demonstrate something to you. I'm saying, you follow me or you feel me. You got what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Uh, follow me could also also mean that you, you're going somewhere that I'm not pretty sure where you're going, but uh, you know the way. Yeah. Amen. And so, I, and then I would have to trust to see if you know the way because I have no idea where I'm going. So I have to trust the person that says, hey, man, follow me to the gas station yeah. or follow yeah. me to the uh, 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 to my cousin's house. I, I don't know where your cousin's staying. Yeah. That's the reason why you should follow because you don't know no. the way. Yeah, that's good. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, you don't know the way. You don't know the way. And when you are talking about the spirit of God, the spirit of God simply says that our way, my ways is not your ways, and your ways is not my ways. Therefore, you're not going to understand when he tells you to turn from what you what you what you in, or when he tells you to watch out or hold up or sleep. You might not catch it because your ways are not my ways. Uh -huh. So following Christ sometimes uh, it deals with the, the fact that you have to you have to know and trust that God's taking you to the right direction. Amen. 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 It says, if any man should come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Those are instructions that are, are set right in order because you cannot follow somebody that you don't trust. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Let's get to the deny yourself part. Okay. Amen. Amen. Because sometimes God tells you to do something that's that your that your that your your, your flesh don't agree with. Yeah. Don't do it. And, and and it's like I, I know I'm supposed to be doing this because I heard what God said. Yeah. But at the same time, my flesh is telling me something different. Yeah. So you have to be careful what you listen to. And because what you what you hear can affect your direction. Yeah. What you hear can affect your direction. Just like when you're thinking about something, that's the way when you at the Bible says, as a man think it, so is he. So if I want to go a certain way, you know, normally if I'm going to the store, my mind has already put me in the path to get to the store. I'm in the car. I really don't need GPS to, to, to follow because I know where the store is. Yeah. And I can get in the car and, 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 and automatically just go to the store without thought. But in but in my thought process, if I don't know where the store is, I got to follow something to yeah. get to where the store is. Yeah. The problem is, is that if I don't feel like driving, then it's going to be very hard for me to do a, 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 a physical thing when it comes to a, a spiritual. I want to do a spiritual. I want to be at the store, but my body uh, is still laying down and don't want to do what God says do. In other words, when God tells you to be to behave, 
And, to, and, to, and to, to, to obey what's making us not obey. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, it's something that's in your mind, in your flesh that says, I hear you, Lord, but I don't have to obey you right now because my yeah. flesh is talking louder than what you want. So denying yourself has got to be one of the hardest things to do when you come to following Christ. Yeah. Amen. He says, if you're going to come out to me, you might as well go ahead and deny yourself first. Uh -huh. Because there's going to be some issues between what you think and what I tell you. Yeah. That's good. What I tell you is something for your own good, but what you think is something that you, 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 you know it all. That's the reason sometimes we get into a rut and we can't come out of it because we don't, we're, we're, thinking, we leave, we're leaving it up to our own thoughts. And God said, listen, I'm trying to pull you out, but you don't want to listen to what I'm saying. Wow. That's good. I, 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 like, I like therapy. I like, I like teaching people, telling people, hey, be careful. Watch out for this because the reason why I tell them that, Derek, is because I failed in that area before. Right. So when we sit down and we talk to people, we say, hey, listen, be careful, man. Don't do this, you know. To do this this way, but a lot of people don't want to follow you because they got the, because they got their own agenda yeah. in the first place. Yeah. 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 Look at somebody say you can't have your own agenda and follow God too. You gonna have to deny yourself before you can get to what God's trying to tell you. I'm very hard to talk. coach. You can't tell me anything. Right. Mr. Dolphins, you can't tell me how I should treat my wife. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah. And neither can any other man here. Yeah. So Derek, since my mind, since I since I know it all, mm -hmm. God had to break me down. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. There was a time when my wife was separated. And I, there's no church that I could have went to and a man could have sat, sat up in church and tell me, hey, you need to love that woman a little more better. Do, do better than what you're doing. Because right. I would have got mad at him and told him to stay out of my business. Because yeah. right. you don't know who I am in the first place. Y'all don't know you. Mm -hmm. Even though it came from God. Yeah. So what God had to do, God had to let me let me go. Mm -hmm. you, go ahead, you go ahead and follow your own device. Yeah. And then he had a stranger speak to me that somebody I didn't even know. No. So I'm saying, okay, I can understand the stranger speaking yeah. to me. He's not even behind the pulpit. He's not. He's not. He's not a part of the church. But he. But he's a stranger. Somebody yeah. I don't even know. And he tells me, "Hey, man, go home and get your wife." Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. First of all, you, how do you know that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> when I when I pulled up to this man, we were, we were both looking at a big pair, a big. I mean, one of the biggest birds I ever seen. They sit on the on the pier, mm -hmm. and they they got the long snot. The long nose or whatever. And I'm looking at it. I don't know what it is. I'm looking at it. He's looking at it. And I'm like, man, that's a big bird. And he's like, hey, what you doing in my city? We start talking good yeah. just, just by that. And he said, hey, man, there's a woman involved. And there's some kids involved, too. Go home and get your wife. My God. Who are you to tell me that, sir? Wow. My God. So when God is speaking to you, it doesn't necessarily mean that your pastor will be the yeah. one that you, that you get it from. Yeah. A lot of times your pastor, you, you, you look over your pastor yeah. and somebody else, God got to send somebody else to tell you the same yeah. thing that your pastor been telling you. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yes, sir. That's good. Amen. We have to have discernment when God is speaking. Yeah. Oh, pastor, when is God speaking? When he's speaking to you and you don't listen? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When he tell you, when he do it like this and you ain't shutting up? Because the power of, let me tell you something, the power of following Christ means that I did something to deny myself. Yeah. Right. I gave up myself. I gave myself up. I gave what I really wanted to do up. I really wanted to cuss him out, but I gave it up. I really wanted to slap him, but I gave it up. I really wanted to do something vital to them, but I gave it up to follow Christ. This is something that we all have to understand that God is saying your ways and what you think about it doesn't matter. You have to learn how to follow. Once you learn how to follow, Mr. Dolphins, half the battle is already won. Yep. That's right. Because, give me give me some. Come here, come here, come here. Because this is what it looks like. 
This is what it looks like. God is saying, I'm leading you. Come on around here. Come on. Move this stuff out the way. Don't knock all that out, though. <laughs> Come on. God, God, is, God is leading you to a direction. We're going to have to walk around. We're going to walk around a little bit. Hold on. God is leading you to a direction. Yeah. And you have your own agenda. Yeah. You have your own thing. Now, he says, follow me. Because there's benefits in following him. But that means I gotta focus on where I'm going. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. As long as I'm following him, I ain't got to worry about. I ain't got to worry about who's gonna pay the bills. Because yeah. I'm following him. Yeah. I ain't got to worry about who to submit to, because yeah. I'm following him. Yeah. I ain't got to worry about who's trying to cuss me out. Because yeah. I'm following him. Yeah. Come on, baby. That's right. But the minute somebody starts saying something, she should over there talking about he ain't no son of God. And I gotta go over here and dress up. I don't stop following him yeah. and start following something else that God That's says. Good. Why you not following That's me? Good. Because what she says don't matter. As long as I'm following. Come on, turn around. As long as I'm following. Go around that way. As long as I'm following. Yeah. Come around. Don't go so fast. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's true. It's real, though. Yeah. As long as I'm following God, yeah. my wife cannot deter what I'm doing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Come on, bitch. For I heard somebody say, I will let nothing separate me from the love of God. And here's the part about it is we get mad about anybody else because because they they, they talk about you following God, but your job is to follow. Yeah. 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 And say, come on, come, come on. on. They got an opinion, but they not following. That's, yeah. good. that's good. That's good. Their job is to get you to do the same thing they do. Yeah. Uh -huh. Watch and criticize. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you know they you know they they ain't real up there. You know that pastor always doing something good. Uh -huh. like because you're sitting around thinking that that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. But God says, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no more. Amen. But here we are still trying to deal with other people and not following God. And God done went ahead and moved on. And now you got to catch up. He said, if a man come after me, you have to deny yourself. Right. If you're going to come after him, you got to put down some of the stuff that you carry on your own. Yeah. And that's hard to do because you like carrying stuff that, like, that don't belong to God. So while the Spirit of the Lord is moving, you don't miss everything because you're still sitting there in your, in your hateful way. That's right. Yeah. Come on, Bishop. That's true. That's good, Bishop. Amen. That's good. There's, a, there's benefits. Let me show you the benefits. Come on, one more time, Vic. Come on, come on. <laughs> the benefit of it is, is that as I follow God, I don't carry baggage. Amen. Wow. Praise the Lord. Ain't no baggage, she she. Now, if there's some rainy days, of course. Yeah. Uh -huh. If there's some bad days, of course. But as long as I hold on to Jesus, it doesn't really matter. Amen. The following of Christ will bring you to a place that that that, that trouble don't even hurt you like it should. Amen. Amen. When you're in Christ, trouble comes, but it, it don't it don't take you all the way out. That's Amen. That's right. But if you're not connected to God, trouble will hit, and you will stay in your wild, your, your, your place, and never learn how to get up, and cause the spirit is still moving, and you're still stuck behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, y'all, don't, 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 don't make me laugh. <laughs> I know, I know Jay don't like this, but as you follow, as you follow Christ, the benefit of you following him will reign over your life and over your children's life. Amen. 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 How many people know that whatever whenever you're connected to somebody or something, it 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 it, it, it leaves some residue. Have yep. you ever been around somebody and you've been around so long and you talk like them? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, you sound just like your you sound yep. just like your hood. You sound yep. like your yep. be, because there's some that there's there's some That's relationship good. going on. That's good. That's good. That's right. Following Christ means that I gotta deny myself and then I got I gotta I gotta carry my own burden, my own cross, but I ain't gotta carry it by myself. That's right. He said. Deny yourself and then pick up your cross. Yeah. It's hard to walk with your cross without Christ. Ooh, yeah. That's right. Yes, it is. That's good. It's hard to walk without Christ if you got issues. Yeah. It's hard to walk without Christ if you and you think you got it all, but you study falling apart. Yeah. It's real. There's a reason why we follow Christ. Yeah. Amen. 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 Okay, well, Jake. I had some more, but I'm gonna let you go, man. Yeah, that's good. Amen. I like this because uh, 
Coming to church is good. Yeah, it really is. But it doesn't mean that you're following Christ. Yeah. Doesn't mean you're really following Christ in your daily walk. Yeah. You're doing well. You're doing well. You're doing well coming coming to church. And you, it's, it's okay. But 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 there's some denying that has to happen. Here's, here's, here's what the trick is. I'm okay with hearing God. I'm okay with, with understanding what he said to them. I hear what he said. The hardest part for me to do is to deny myself when I'm away from church. Yeah, yeah. Denying ourselves means that, that we have enough Christ in us to do it. Mm -hmm. Because without Christ, it's hard to deny yourself. Have you ever seen that cheeseburger commercial come on right after you said you gonna fast? <laughs> it's real. I'm gonna stop smoking. Hear your homeboy. Hey man, you, you, you coming out? We hanging out. That's true. The minute you start denying yourself and getting yourself prepared mentally, the yeah. enemy sends something to yeah. remind you that you just can't walk away from it easy like yeah. that. Yeah. I started saying, you know what? I'm going to stop smoking weed. Yeah. I said that there. After rolling the one up and firing it up right after I said it. I'm going to stop. Yeah. <laughs> one day. <laughs> but my words got power. Because I kept saying, I got to quit. I got to stop. This can't keep happening. Right. This ain't me. When I met my wife, I was I was in a process of saying, I'm gonna stop smoking, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my life together because I, I, I need to be right. Yeah. I said that. By the time I met my wife, I had already met Jose. We've been friends for a long time. Mm -hmm. And Jose goes to Mexico and he comes back, he brings all the weed you can smoke. Yeah. Say, Grady, you wanna sell this? Oh yeah, man. So when I met her, I was just getting out of that. Mm -hmm. So when God placed her in my life, I feel like this, this what I'm doing, ain't, it, it doesn't apply to my future. Amen. But since he, since it was making me money, and the enemy knows I love to make money, yeah. I'm gonna go on and sell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't say when God has something planned for you after He has put somebody in your life yeah. to make you do right. When he puts a woman in your life to make you do right, uh -huh. you have to understand that what I've been doing, I can't no longer do no more. Yeah. Amen. So he made it easier because I wanted to love her more than I did the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the date. Amen. Amen. Then I said I want to take care of a woman. I don't want to. Have, I don't want to have to worry about her working. But I can't do that behind bars trying to sell weed. Amen. So it didn't make sense to me to keep on doing the things that the enemy kept trying to hold me down with. So I had to deny that. I had to get that. I had to, some of us must say, you got to get that up. You got to get it up. See, I'm talking about me, but I'm, I want you to think about you. There's some stuff that God said, you got to get it. If you don't follow Amen. me, you going to have to give this up. Amen. Amen. But here we are still hanging on to stuff to try to make us feel good. But your feelings, the way you feel, don't have nothing to do with how God's trying to tell you to walk. Yeah, Amen. Amen. I know that man is fine, but he's not yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Not yours. There you go. I know that woman looks good, but she don't belong to you. Not yours. That is a trick from the enemy. As long as you keep following it, you not you can't follow Christ. You cannot follow two things. That's my next thing I was gonna do with Jake because I'm trying to follow Christ, but I'm also trying to follow myself. Uh huh. That's good. And so there's two separate ways we're gonna go because you can't follow Christ and follow yourself at the same time. Amen. So something have to give. Look at somebody say something got to give. Got and to if give. you got some peace, if you got some peace in your life, you want to grab hold to the peace of God and let go of the joy of your, of your flesh. Amen. Amen. That was good, Bishop. I choose peace over the joy of my flesh any day. Yeah. It's hard. That's right. Let me turn to the next scripture. Oh, some of y'all start throwing rocks at me. I'm dead. John, let's look at this. I'm going to look at this real quick. I just want to use this for a reference. John 14 and 5. 
He got this in my spirit. So I'm going to move on so we can get ready to go home. First of all, if you're going to follow me, you got to know that I'm the way. Yeah, yeah. That I'm for you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If you're going to follow Christ, you got to know that he's the way. Yeah. Right. Amen. Description. Uh, 14 and 5. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest. We don't even know where you're going, God. Why you want to follow me? Yeah. And how can we know the way? How in the world? I'm not going to follow you, but I don't know where we're going. Yeah. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. <laughs> no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Amen. Amen. Here's the thing. There's no point of reference of where you're going because God only shows you a glimpse. Yeah. Yeah. But he don't tell you how you're going to get there. He told the children of Israel, he says, he says, leave from Pharaoh's hand, yeah. and I'm going to take you to a place where there's milk and honey. Yeah. And in between the place where Pharaoh's hand is on you, and between the, uh, uh, the, the place he's talking about going, that is a journey. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Amen. So what God does, he set a journey for your life. Yeah. And according to your obedience, it seems... That your obedience plays a big part between where you at and your destiny. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because where you going has to take some trust that you can follow him. Thomas said, we don't even know where you're going. But then you got to pick up trust and say, God, I'm following you no matter where you're taking me. I don't have to see the, the promise man. I just know you're taking me to a place that's better than where I'm at. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I love to hear the story of Lot's wife when he told me, say, just get out, but don't look back. Yeah. There's some stuff that makes you want to look back that kept you in kept you in a happy place. Yeah. But God says, I'm pulling you from your happy place to a place where you're supposed to be to save your life. Amen. That's good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That's some stuff in you. Thank that you. making you happy. And the enemy is using that That's right. to keep you from following God. Yeah. Oh my God. I said there's some stuff that's making yeah. you happy yeah. that the enemy is using yeah. to keep you from following God. Yeah. Because he knows if you follow God, somebody else going to follow behind you. Yeah. 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 It's not just for you. I keep saying it's not just for you. Right. It's for everybody that's connected to you. Amen. Your deliverance brings so much presence of God that anybody around you could can get delivered. That's yes, good. sir. That's good. Oh, come on. That's yes, good. sir. Come on. When I stopped smoking weed, it was it was it was it was, it was, it was provident that some people weren't gonna follow no more. Yeah, yeah. I had friends say, you know what, no, nah, bro, I ain't going to church. You going to church with? But I kept following God. Down right. yeah. I'm not saying I'm the best of man of all, of all, but I can't tell you this. I have, I never have to worry about somebody looking look over my shoulder, worry about somebody coming out to me because I'm selling dope. Right. Yeah. Right. I found peace with following God. Amen. 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 So even though the joy of having having the funds and having all the good stuff and having all the fun, it, 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 you, you have to turn that over. You got to give that up. That's right. Let's face it. Sin is fun. Sit up there and lie to yourself if you want to. <laughs> right. Sit up there and lie. That like freak, that like what you doing ain't fun. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Ain't hurt nobody. <laughs> I don't see nothing wrong. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Keep on. Right. Yeah. Just cause you don't just cause you don't see it don't mean something ain't wrong. Amen. Amen. Oh. Amen. I'm Amen. Amen. Yeah, come on. And there's some people in some stuff that they ain't got no business in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you have to follow Christ. Amen. This world is not going to get better. Yeah. It's not getting better. 
It's not. It's not getting better. And you got to be careful who you're following today. Yeah. Amen. You know, Facebook and all these social media's got you following. Follow me. Yeah. Follow me on Facebook. Yeah. Follow me. I'm selling my clothes. My clothes. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Glad you're doing. Good job. <laughs> well, are you following Christ? That's good. Amen. That's real good. That's real good. Are you following Christ? Amen. I found out that basketball players and football players, the ones that still follow Christ, mm -hmm. they're lonely. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yep. yep. So when you follow Christ, sometimes it's a lonely place. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. It's true. It's true. God has to sometimes strip you from people who are stopping you from following Christ. My God. Man. Talk about it. And that industry, the music industry, the, the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. don't follow Christ. Mm -hmm. They don't. They don't. Mm -hmm. So it's very few rare people who truly still follow Christ. Mm -hmm. So when you find somebody who's following Christ, you got to get behind them because you might not know the way, but they do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Amen. That's real good. The promise that God made for us is far more greater yeah. than what you're receiving now on your own. Yeah. Yeah. The promise that he said, he says, where I go, you can't go right yeah. now. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to prepare a place to, to come back to get you and then you're ready. That's the only time that God says, I'm going to leave you here for just a second. That stuff already happened. So you ought to be glad that, that the old people say, I got a mansion. Yeah. Yeah. I might live under a rock right now, but somewhere along the line, God's promised me a I'm mansion. Telling you. And I have never seen his promises come short. I'm telling you. So what am I telling the people of God today? You have to follow Christ. Amen. You have to be reminded to do this. Because there's stuff in the world that's contrary to his following. Yeah. Amen. Amen. There's stuff in the world that makes you follow it and not follow God. That's right. Here's the struggle that your pastor had. When somebody makes me mad, it's hard for me to follow God. It's hard for me to follow God when I'm really mad. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. for sure. So, I'm, so now my prayer has changed. That Lord, let, let not my anger separate you and I. Amen. Yeah. Hello. Ooh, Amen. Right. I guess I'm the only one. Now you ain't the only but one. But there are some stuff that God saying that you follow me regardless. I'm gonna take care of whatever is troubling you. Yeah. God says I'm gonna take care of whatever's troubling you. Amen. Whatever's got you up, up uneasy. God says I'm gonna take care of that. We don't hear when he say that. He says, cast your cares on me because yeah. I care for you. We yeah. don't hear that. All we yeah. hear is, I'm mad. I'm going to yeah. get somebody. Yeah. But if we're, carefully following, if we're carefully following God, that means that I, I, my mindset is saying, I want to get you back for what you did to me. My God. But my God won't let me do it. You ought to be glad that God won't let my, my wrath, my fear come down on you. You ought to be glad that God gave you some type of grace. Yeah. Because if I do what I really want to do to you, yeah. I'm going to need God when I get done. I'm telling you. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Hey, man. I'm trying to tell you. Because people are going to make you mad. Yeah. Jesus. Bosses, moms, brothers, sisters, yeah. brothers, wives, everybody. Hugs, everybody. Everybody. But Pastor, I don't get mad like that. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed and highly favored in that area. Okay, good. We're going we're gonna to try that in just a few more days. When I see your Facebook post talking about that, I know they didn't. No, you said you with God. You said you following God, right? When you start confessing that you're following Christ, the enemy's not going to like it. Address yourself in such a way that you're going to let God handle whatever your issue is. Okay. Follow close to him. Yes, man. I got to follow close to him. That's right. Yes, so I won't let nobody peel me off and get me off my journey. That's right. Did you hear what I said? Amen. You got to follow Christ. That's right. 
it's, it's, it's important that you follow Christ so other people can see that you follow Christ. Yeah, right. It's, it's important because what happens is that we 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 want to we want to give ourselves to something. We want to give ourselves to something better. We do. There's some. There's some. I know some people who want to do better. They they have the mindset to do better. They want to do right in Christ. They want to follow God. They want to do things of God. They want to be you know a part of God's kingdom. They really do, but they can't get over this because of that. So whatever that is, let's nip that in the bud. Yeah. Because if you come up here and you smile at me, you have a good time in church, and you go home and you're miserable, that's got to be something that you're not following Christ with. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yes, Lord. And if you're chasing stuff to make you happy, you're not following Christ. Yeah. I, I did that. I chased stuff to make me happy. I had to hear God say thousand dollars a week driving people around. Get in, come on, yeah, yeah. drop them off. Hey, see like pick them up somebody else. Thousand dollars a week, thousand dollars a week. No problem. Come on, get in. Y'all going to the rodeo? Yeah, come on, get in. Hey, how y'all doing? Appreciate it. Pick up somebody else. When you have something that you're chasing other than God, and God tells you to stop it, mm -hmm. you got to let it go. Yeah. Yes, sir. Derek, I don't like depending on people to pay me anything. Yeah. Wow. I like to take care of everything that's around me. Yeah. So I'm driving, ooh, mm -hmm. I'm driving 40, day, 40 hours a week, just like my normal job. Get paid a whole lot more. Pick this one lady up. Took her from Irving to over there. I, I keep I don't know the name of this place, but it's off of 635 in Kingsley in that area. North Dallas. I dropped her off in North Dallas, yeah. <laughs> dropped her off over there, and my next run was $144. Oh, wow. I looked at that run, and you only got a second to choose it. Because yeah. it's going to say, <laughs> And I said, nah. Yeah. Called my wife. Hey, I'm coming home. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, I'm going to come home. Because when you get an urge of something bad about to happen, mm -hmm. that's God speaking. Yeah. 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 Your, your intellect, when you have something that in your, in your, in your, in your, yeah. the, the, yeah. the back of your mind, that God gives you a frame, a picture of, you're not supposed to ignore it by chasing things that make you happy. Yeah, yeah man. That makes that's good. Okay. That's good. Whenever, whenever you almost got caught. Yeah. <laughs> you understand that, right? When you almost got caught, that's God telling you the next time. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll let you make it this time, but next yeah. time. Every time you caught. Right? Yeah, uh huh. You got to give it up. Uh -huh. Amen. Well, how I know if I'm following God when you ain't got to hide it from nobody? Amen. I'm doing this, but I ain't got to hide it from nobody. Mm -hmm. I don't care who sees this. Yeah. When is it not God? When you hide it. Uh huh. Oh, oh, <laughs> Speak on that little something on that. Don't worry about nobody saying <laughs> That's when you know it's not God. Amen. Can I teach you something else? You know it's God because you feel better. That's right. Ooh, that's so true. You know it's God because you feel better. Like, man, I dodged the bullet. I dodged the bullet. Last testimony. I was working at Chevron. Making decent, decent money for the time of, of you know, my wife and I just got an apartment. There we live right down the street. Right here, down the street, Park Road. We got a new apartment, she, she. And so I came home with my smock on, still on my my man, my uh man tech, my uh Chevron smock still on. And uh I walked through our front door and we had a flow model TV. Some of y'all young kids yeah, don't know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about that. Flow model TV. Mm -hmm. It's just a big 
TV that sit on the floor. Yeah, uh huh. Well, we had one in there too. Well, it was small. Anyway, when I walked in the room, uh, in my living room, TD Jakes was on. <laughs> get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Right. And he was, ah, you know how TD Jakes is. Uh -huh. hey, hey, hey. Yeah. He was doing his thing. And I was drawn to the TV as I walked through the door. Yeah. Because the Spirit of the Lord should draw you. Uh -huh. So I was drawn to the TV. And I'm looking at the TV, and I heard a knock on the door. And if you think about what God was doing, he was talking to me then. Yeah. Because he had this coming home, I should have had went up with the bed and took a shower and got in the bed. Yeah. But I was still watching the TV because I was intrigued by seeing white people with their hands up, tears in their eyes, black people crying. I'm seeing people giving their worship to God that moved me in such a way I didn't want to move from the TV. Yeah. But there was a knock on the door, so I went to the door, Dante, and I opened the door, and it's my homeboy Dominic said, Hey man, let's go get some weed. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Who's talking? And who am I following? My God. Both the enemy and God speaks. Yes, he does. Yes, they do. So while the TV is drawing me and he's telling me to get ready, get ready, get ready, the devil is knocking at the door saying, hey, come on, let's go get some, let's, let's follow something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. If it's happening in my life, I know it's happening in yours yeah, too. It's real. It's real. Amen. Some of y'all want to know what the pastor did. <laughs> Turn the TV off. Hey, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you sure we're right, player. Let's go do it. Come on, Bishop. Be transparent. Help us. I got in the car. 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 That was the car that was facing in front of our apartment. In the back seat of his car, I can see our, I can see our, the, our front door and our window that that Rochelle kept peeking out of. <laughs> and I'm like, man, God is still talking. Cause I'm like, why am I here? Amen. Let me tell you something. I have probation in Tarrant County and in Dallas County, so if I get caught doing anything. That's a good 60 days. Yeah. So I'm sitting here thinking about that, Derek, because I, I just got off work. And my wife is speaking out the window. I shouldn't get out the car. Yeah. God is speaking. Because I know what the right thing to do. I yeah. said it. You know what the right thing to do. But sometimes you just don't listen. You ignore it. Yeah. So I yeah. kept yeah. sitting there. And she, she as I sit there, it, it, the car wouldn't start. Yeah. Wow. That's another sign. God is speaking through a car, yeah. and I'm not listening. Yeah. Man. Oh, no. Let me get that right. I was listening. Uh -huh. I just ignored the word. Uh -huh. That's right. Like some of us sitting here now. Yeah. I wish you'd hear up so I can go home. But I'm trying, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to tell you, following God yeah. is something that you have to do. Uh -huh. So while I'm sitting there and I'm hearing what God is saying by this car not starting, I'm ready to get out because I know that I got probation. I, I can't get in no more trouble. Yeah, and why yeah, am I yeah. out anyway? I got to go to work the next day. Why? Yeah. What, what is going on with me that I can't follow what God is trying to tell me yeah. because I want to do my own thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as I contemplate, I put my hand on the door for me to really get out. He said, well, we might as well pop this joint. Well, since you're going to do that. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Huh. <laughs> you show sure you're right. He found it up. Passed to his girlfriend, Kalika. She passed me up. I hit it one time, big back. Now, I don't know about y'all. Back then, the weed was regular weed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it didn't put you to sleep and do all that. You make you lazy. You know, this weed nowadays, you, you can't do no weed. You can't do you, you smoke now, you, you, you down for a couple of hours. Yeah. But back in the day, it was just regular weed. And regular weed just made you happy. So all of a sudden, I'm in the back seat. Hey, hey, you're feeling good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You were tripping out. Knowing that God is speaking to me. Yes. Uh -huh. So the Cadillac converter got hot, Danielle. Oh. When the Cadillac converter get hot on the car, uh -huh. you can't start it until it cool down. Yep. Yeah. So it took about at least 15, 20 minutes for it to cool down. And then after he fired the joint up, we passed around once. I don't want to hit it once. We're driving down the freeway once it finally started. We're going down 30. We stay right over here. We're going down 30, going to Dallas to pick up some more weed. In which I should never have been in that car. Yeah. yeah. 
but God was showing me. I don't know if it was because I was high or the moon was just that close, but it was like the moon was like, nigga, I see you. <laughs> and I'm looking up like, that moon is brighter than I ever seen in my life. And as we get to the place where we're going, police is everywhere. So I'm like, man, take me home. Take me. Lord, get me out this If I could have walked from Dallas, I would have been. I was trying. I, I got to go home. I got to get home. I got to get home. I kept saying, I got to get home. Because all of a sudden, God showed me my life. Yeah, he showed yeah. me that I put grace over you. You still going to act on me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get you to a place, and you still going to act the fool. Yeah, I'm telling you. you. I'm telling you. Yeah. Once. I got back to the house. You had to tell me to get out. <laughs> they all come. Hey. I shout them stuff up there. <laughs> <Hey. Baby. laughs> I they're like, what happened? I said, we, we could have been a goner. I thought I was gone. Yeah. Yeah. Good, I thought I was gone. Yeah. I thought I was gone, dear. Well. I was gone. What they didn't cry didn't tell you is that we, we put up to the place and God ready to say, man, don't try to go up there. It, it, the police are gonna raid that house right there. Same house we going to. Wow. My homeboy said, well, we're gonna go to the beer store. No, they can take me home. Wow. I'm gonna circle my right now, take me home. Yeah. To Rochelle, I said, that was foolish what I did. It was dumb and stupid. I could have gave all my life up for a little bit of happiness. Uh huh. Yep. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Right. Listen to me. It's not worth it. It's not. Amen. Not even a little bit. It's not worth it. God has a better plan for you. Amen. I, I had I had nightmares of going to jail. You gotta understand. Everybody around me went to jail. Everybody. So this so this this was a torment for me to be in jail. I don't want to be in jail. I, I I'm not jail material. Right. right. Ain't no women in jail. I'm I'm, I'm not <laughs> yeah. Man, say. I'm not jail material. Yeah. <laughs> no. right. yeah. That's true. Well, so God says to me, How long will you ignore me? Yeah. Is we that important to you? That you ignore the ones that you, that what could have happened. Yeah. You gotta follow God. Amen. Even when I even when I think back, I think there's so many things I can tell y'all here that God He just He just said, "Come this way." Yeah. And if I would have listened to Him, I'd been in the pen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't have a family. <clears throat> Probably wouldn't be preaching. Yeah, man. I might be preaching in the pen. pen. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> like I said, ain't no women in the pen. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Some of you niggas like to still go to jail. I don't know what for. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing there. <laughs> Follow Christ. Amen. 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 Sin, sin, sin takes away. Okay. Sin, sin takes away. You, you, you gain, sin pulls away. Sin, sin grabs whatever you have and takes it away from you. Yep. The, the enemy is connected to sin. Yep. So the enemy comes and grabs your stuff and takes it away from you. Uh huh. Because you agree with him. Because when you sin, you agree with the adversary. You agree with him. And you agree with you agree with the agree with the enemy, and he's he's taking your stuff. My God, it's real. He's taking your stuff. Some stuff you're losing that you shouldn't. You, should, you have no business losing. Yeah. Yeah. Your, your peace, you have no business losing that. Your yeah. joy, you have no business losing that. Yeah. But sin takes it away. Amen. Amen. Because God says, "I come." That you may have life and have life more abundantly. Sin takes away from your life. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. And if you're not careful, sin will take your life. Yep. Yes, sure will. It definitely will. Amen. Don't vote. Sin will take your life. Amen. Stay in sin. It's going to take from you. Yep. It's going to pull from you. Yep. And sin is not borrowing it. It's taking it. Woo! There's a difference. Yeah. It takes from you. That's right. It pulls from you. It robs you. Because you agree with that. But when you follow Christ, everything that the enemy took from you, he got to give it back. Right. Look at somebody say, give back my stuff. Amen. I'm going to give up sin so I can give back my stuff. Amen. There's some stuff I'm not going to do no more because I learned that you already took it from me. You can't take nothing else from me no more. First lady said, go get your stuff. Uh-huh. Go get it. You have to come to God. Right. And Jesus said to his disciples, follow me. Mm -hmm. He says, be in a relationship with me. Be in the same direction that I'm going. Right. Follow me. Give up your sin and follow Christ. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 Come on, put your hands together. Amen. You know, looking at the Facebook page, and it brought back a whole lot of uh, memories of Facebook on keep sending memories of what you've been through. Mm -hmm. uh, you post something eight years ago, Facebook will right. pop it right. back up, man. Yes, they will. And you thank God that I'm not in that situation. Yeah. Yeah. Because Facebook reminds you of where you were at. Yeah. And whether you're in a happy place or a good place, it should be an indicator of how my life been. If they said something eight years ago and you, you didn't have a car and you got one now, that's the reason to praise God. Praise God. Amen. 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 I think God does that for me in the spirit when I look back and see how poor I was, not in things, but in Him. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Amen. how rich He's made me by what I believe. Amen. Amen. What you believe can make you rich. Mm. Not with money, but with spiritual things. Mm -hmm. We're all standing. Let's get ready to go home. I said enough. I said enough. And I trust that God will. Pull up your heart strings enough to make you follow him. There's a lot of stuff we can follow today. There's a lot of stuff that we can follow. Yeah, that's true. But we must follow God. Amen. 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 There's some people who are like Thomas. You're doubtful. But God says, lean not to your own understanding. Don't trust yourself. Trust in me. I, I, I can't trust in me. I'm going to mess it up. My trust in my following has to be after Christ. I've already messed it up. He's making it right. Come on, close your eyes and say, Lord, Lord make it right. Make it right. There's some stuff in my heart that I have toward people. God, make it right. I don't want to be out of your will. And I want to follow you. Because you're my God. Come on, tell the enemy, enemy, you have no power. 
I will follow God. I will follow God. Ooh. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, I will follow you, Lord. Yes, Lord. <clears throat> Give it up myself. Give it up my ways. I'm giving up my bad habits. I'm getting rid of my frustration. I'm getting rid of my anger. Help me follow you, Lord. Oh, God, thank you, Lord. Bring peace over my spirit, over my mind. Make everything according to your word. Help me, Lord. To stick closer to you, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for showing us the way. Thank you for being the way, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.